AI is here. In late 2023, Go High Level released an update integrating AI into many of their features, including workflow. I like to think there are three different levels to creating an AI appointment booking bot in Go High Level, and I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how you can create a booking bot at level one, two, or three. If you're new here, my name is Connor Alder. I'm a digital marketer and upcoming medical student at Wash U. I've been using Go High Level for about the last three years, and recently I decided to start my own agency selling Facebook ads to mental health clinics, and I use Go High Level software to do that. So first of all, the three levels of AI appointment booking bots. Level one is Go High Level Simple. This is gonna be the fastest way to get your AI appointment booking bot up and running. I'm gonna walk you through that. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, but not quite as customizable. Level two, I call Go High Level Workflows. This is all things considered still pretty easy to set up, but it is a little bit more hands-on. And if you want to really fine tune how the bot is going to respond to specific messages, this might be the level for you, but it does take a little bit more time to build. And then level three is going to be going to a third party developer, someone like Zappy Chat or Closebot. The pro of level three is that there is a lot of customizability and it's very user-friendly. The con being that it's a little bit more expensive and you have to pay for a subscription to get that software into Go High Level. Okay, so for level one, we're going to be building the simple go high level bot here we are in agency view and i'm going to come into settings and you want to go over to company and you want to scroll down here until you get to content ai and uh workflow ai and you want to make sure those are both toggled on we also have reviews ai and conversation ai you should have all of those toggled on okay next step is to go into your sub account all right, once we are in our sub account, we're gonna go into settings, then we're gonna hit conversation AI. Okay, so once we're in conversation AI, basically what we're gonna do is come here into preferences and go to autopilot beta. This is going to allow the bot to actually send messages. We're gonna choose our supported channel. In this case, I'm gonna choose just SMS, but you could enable this for Facebook or Instagram. I'm gonna scroll down into advanced settings here. This isn't super necessary. I'm gonna say Alder Media. We got wait time before responding. This is important so that it doesn't seem like it's just a bot. I think about two minutes is great, maybe one minute. Maximum messages that a bot can send to a contact. This, you probably wanna leave it 10. This just means that if they send 10 messages and they're still asking questions, then it's not gonna keep responding, which is probably good if they're asking that many questions. And then you wanna probably leave this enabled as well. Send bot to sleep when I send a message manually or through a workflow so that you're not getting double messages to the client. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna come over to bot training here. And you can see it's just asking you to input a URL here. So it's pretty simple. You just have to put the URL for whatever website you are working with whatever company you're working with, this will scrape their website for all relevant information to train the bot. It's really that easy. You do have two options where you can choose just the exact URL or all URLs with this path or all URLs in this domain. The all URLs in this domain is going to be the most inclusive and it's going to scrape all of the sub pages within that website. It will take a little longer, but this is definitely the most accurate way to train your bot. So I would normally recommend doing all URLs in this domain as this is gonna get you the most information for your bot. In this example, we're gonna do just the exact URL because it does go a little faster. Here we are, we found a random clinic that offers ketamine therapy. We're gonna copy that URL, paste it in here. Again, it's the exact URL, click get data, wait for a second here and it's going to load. Okay, now that we've finished uploading that one link, you can see it's here in this uploaded links page. If you have multiple pages, then they're all gonna show up here. You can add quite a few to train the bot, but again, we're gonna do just that main home page. And then the next step here is this FAQs. You can add frequently asked questions here, like how much does ketamine therapy cost? And you can provide an answer. And let's just say it's normally covered by insurance if not then it costs four hundred dollars something like this so as you can see this is an easy way to customize very common questions but if the information is actually on that web page then you don't really need to do these faqs this is just for missing information save that we've added our faq awesome now we're going to come over to configure intents and you can see that this is automatically enabled and you can actually edit the prompt if you want to change some of those prompts for the bot. I think the already added values here from Go High Level are pretty good, and I don't think I'd recommend changing these. As you can see, it just basically says that you're a bot, your primary goal is to build trust, you have a goal to assist the customers with their queries, 
There's some conversational guidelines as well, being attentive, don't use emojis. Then it gives some examples as well. So these are pretty good rules that I probably would just leave as they are. And then we have appointment booking, and this is where it gets pretty cool. So you're gonna wanna enable this here. And the next thing you wanna decide is whether or not you want to have the bot actually book the appointments conversationally, or if you want the bot just to send a booking link, then go ahead and check that box and it will only send the booking link. You do also want to pick a calendar over here. So I would choose the correct calendar. If nothing pulls up here, you just need to come into calendars and set up a simple calendar, not too tricky. Check out another video on my explanation of that. The pros of having this checked and only sending a booking link is that it does show if the lead is a little bit higher intent because they're actually going in, they're clicking and they're scheduling an appointment. The con is that you probably won't get as many appointments booked this way just because it's a little bit more friction. And so it depends on your specific situation, but I think leaving this unchecked is actually a, the best way to take advantage of the AI capabilities here. So I'd hit save there, and then you come over to bot trial. And this is where you can actually test your bot and see if it's working. So as you can see, we have it set to either general question or appointment booking. We're gonna do just general question first, and we're gonna start by saying, hey, and the, the bot comes back with, hey, what's on your mind today? Which is a little bit vague, we'd probably wanna fix that later. But then we can say, how much does ketamine cost? And then you can see here, this is the response that I gave in that frequently asked question but you can tell that they actually reworded it slightly. So in those FAQs on the bot training, they don't have to be perfectly written and the, the bot can actually interpret that information and maybe rearrange it in a way that's more conversational. So that's pretty cool. You can see ketamine therapy usually costs $400 if it's not covered by insurance. An important part of this trial is to rate responses as good or bad. And so this is a good response. We're gonna give that a thumbs up, but Let's say we don't love this first one. We can do a thumbs down and we can say, we can actually adjust this first part and say, hi, how can I help you? And we could do train bot like that. And so now the next time we did a trial, it would actually adjust its answer that way. So we can reset the conversation and we can try appointment booking next. So we can say, hello there, when are you open for appointments? And it says, when would you like to book an appointment? Do you have any openings next week? Sure, let me check. Do you have a specific day in mind for next week? Wednesday or Thursday is good. And you can see it's actually pulling out time slots from my actual calendar. So it says, Here's some openings for the 26th of June, 2024, 8 a.m., 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10. Which slot works for you? And I might actually say none of those actually. How about afternoon? And you can see how impressive this is that it actually adjusts and says, okay, let me look at the afternoon slots and it provides a few options. So now if a lead was actually having this conversation with an AI bot, they could simply just say, 2 p.m. sounds good. And then the bot's gonna ask one confirmation message here, 2 p.m. on the 26th, yep. And then there you go, great. You are booked for June 26th at 2 p.m. So you can see it's pretty powerful for how easy it is to set up. It's a pretty powerful AI booking bot. You don't need to know any coding. You don't need to do anything specific besides throw in a link for the website that you want information from. It is pretty easy, guys. So that's level one. And I have to say, if you're new in the agency space and you want to offer something to small businesses, this is a pretty good thing to offer. Although I will say that you should really focus on the value you're adding and not just the shiny toy of the AI. <laughs> if you're going to talk to small businesses about selling them a chatbot, they don't really care. What they really want to know is how is this going to help them drive more revenue? And so what you should really say is that this is actually going to help you book more appointments. And that is something that small business owners love to hear. Okay, we are moving on to level two. And here in workflows is where we're going to build this AI appointment booking bot. So I've gone ahead and built one already here called AI automation. And I'm gonna walk you through all of the things here. And this might look a little daunting right now, but I'm gonna simplify it, don't worry. So the first thing we're gonna start with as normal with every, any workflow is a trigger. You can choose whatever you'd like, but if you're working with Facebook ads like I am, then you're going to go ahead and hit form submitted. The form is, and you're gonna choose one of your Facebook forms here. I'm gonna choose this simple form. And the very first step is going to be adding a conversation AI here. So you go in and Google or search for conversation AI. Click that, that's what I've added right here. 
and you can see that this is a question answer in general QA. I've gone ahead and named this text or call because I want to know if the lead prefers a text message or a phone call from us. You can see you've got this whole personality section. This was mostly all already filled in by Go High Level, but I did update this a little bit. I added this custom value for the location name. I would recommend doing that so that they know that they're for that account. This will fill in Alder Media here because that's the sub account I'm in. We scroll down to additional instructions and you can see here that we've got a lot of different rules. Again, these were already given by Go High Level and they're, they're pretty great. I didn't have to change any of these. You can see that a lot of this is just helpful information to make sure the bot replies appropriately. And then the question, this is something that I filled in. This is where you're going to fill in the very first question that you want the thing to ask. And so I said something like, hey there, just saw you filled out our Facebook form. Would love to get you in the clinic soon. Just need some basic info first. Would you prefer a phone call or text? By the way, this is blank from blank, right? So again, the power of custom values is great. We scroll down here, I leave the timeout at about three hours. That's how long that you'll, your bot will give the potential client. This is how long your bot will give the potential client to respond. We've got our channel here, we're gonna do SMS. Skip if answered, I'd leave that checked on. Then we've got two automatically filled out branches that you can't change, which is if no condition is met or if the bot times out. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Then I added these two branches, which is number one, if they prefer text, and number two, if they prefer call. So patient prefers texting, patient prefers a phone call. And guys, the bot is pretty smart. You don't have to really say much more than just this condition. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that action. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the branch here. If they prefer a text, then we're gonna send them down this branch, and I'm gonna add another conversation AI element. The cool thing is you can actually just go here and copy this and you can copy just the action or all actions from here, which would be the entire tree. We don't wanna do that right now. So you can just hit copy action and you can see there's all these places you can throw it in. So that would be the easiest way to do that. I'd recommend copying it, hitting, uh, pasting it right here. And then you're gonna update the actual question. So I have qualifying question number one, all this other stuff is the same except question. And the first qualifying question I wanna know is how long have you been suffering from depression? And here, I really just wanna know if they're answering the question or not. You really do have the option to make multiple branches here. Like if you wanted to have one branch being like, oh, you know, they have suffered from depression from for more than three months or less than three months, you could divide that categories. Um, but really for my purposes, I just wanna know if they're answering these questions because I'm gonna have somebody go back and look at these answers anyway. The bot is really just there to get the qualifying questions in the first place. So we're gonna save that action. We're gonna go ahead down to the answered branch and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna copy and paste this over, but now we're gonna make a new question. And this time, instead of how long have you been suffering from depression, we might ask how many antidepressants have you tried in the past? Same thing before, we just wanna know if they're answering this question because we're gonna review it anyway. And we're just gonna do the same thing here for qualifying question number three. As you can see, I'm gonna scroll through, um, same idea, we might ask a different qualifying question. So what insurance are you on? Save action. You get the idea, we're gonna ask all these qualifying questions and by the very end, once they have answered all of our qualifying questions, this is where this level two changes a little bit from level one. We're gonna add just a manual SMS here and we're going to send them something like, thank you so much for answering these questions. We're going to reach out soon and get you set up for an appointment. This part is a little bit actually limited from level one because you can't conversationally book right here. And so that is one limitation, but it, I call it level two because you're able to be a lot more specific with how you want the conversation to go while still allowing AI to help you. So I just said, great, click here to schedule an appointment and you can add a link to your booking calendar where they can then go in and book. And again, this is a little bit limited from the conversational booking that we looked at in level one, but it's a little bit more specific in the way that you're able to ask qualifying questions as you go through. And so then you just wanna come up here, hit save, and go ahead and put this into publish. And now I'm gonna save it again, and you should be good to go. All right, guys, so now onto level three, and this is third-party resources to build your AI chatbot. I think honestly one of the best is Zappy Chat, but there are kind of some AI bot wars going on right now with multiple people like Closebot. As you can see, Zappy Chat is all about converting leads with quick, kind, and thorough AI. They've got a whole thing here. 
I'm gonna walk you through kind of what Zappy Chat looks like and why it's helpful. All right, so in Zappy Chat, what you can see is that there's quite a lot of customizable options. They've got a full interface to change the, the bot type, the prompt, the bot description, the temperature, all of these different settings here to adjust what type of booking bot you want to do. So you can tell that there really is a lot of options. And then basically the way this works to integrate it into your sub account is they have some API access that you'll set up. And then if you just go into your sub account page, it's not too tricky. You kind of just go in there and add some custom scripts that they'll be able to just copy and paste in and it will integrate into your sub account. And so what Zappy Chat actually looks like is a little bit like this, where you can see that you have a text flow. And one of the cool things here is that you can actually have it schedule an appointment into Calendly natively. So it's kind of like that, that uh, texting flow that we were talking about earlier, but this is pretty cool because it's just right within Calendly and you can do that through texting. Again, another powerful integration and a reason why this level three option with Zappy Chat or other third-party sources can be pretty helpful. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like here. You can see they enter their name and email and then Zappy Chat is thinking and they've, you know, just like before they show these available times and this is all through Calendly. So same idea as the Go High Level Calendar, but now it's integrated through Calendly, which is helpful. And so to show you the actual pricing for Zappy Chat, it is a little bit hidden. It's like all the way at the bottom. So it's kind of hard to find that pricing, but it is here at the bottom. It says it starts at 197 a month. So that is not exactly super cheap. If you are brand new to Go High Level or something and you don't have a ton of clients, but obviously that can work pretty well if you have multiple clients and you're scaling up a little bit. Okay guys, that's all I've got today. Hopefully you understand a little bit more how to set up an AI appointment booking bot on Go High Level in three different ways, level one, two, and three. They all have their pros and cons. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, drop a like. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you wanna try this out yourself, then go ahead and sign up for a free trial. The link in my description and you can build your own AI appointment booking bot right away. All right guys, talk to you later.